chapter number one the basic economic problem uh, let's see what are the factor of productions we already discussed we have four different types of factors of production land labor capital and enterprise and these are help us to produce a no new, new product the production of any good and services required to use the combination or uh, we can use them individually in the order to produce new product goods are physical objects that can be touched so we can use these factor of production in the order to make a new products new goods and what are the goods goods are something physical that can uh, be touched for example like a tangible uh, for example mobile phone mobile phone is a product or is a good that we can touch we can use them uh, easily and services are those uh, actions or activity that one person can perform for another uh, these are some uh, intangible for example car wash and all this stuff are include in the part of the uh, service activities let's see one by one uh, what comes under the heading of land labor capital and enterprise the first thing is uh, we have land uh, students keep that in mind there is some misconception about the land that land is not only a physical something okay uh, this is uh, this includes weather water minerals oil all these uh, things comes under the headings of the land so land is something non made non man made uh, natural resources are available for the production and some countries have vast amount of uh, particular natural resources so for able to specialize in its product so any country who who is specialized in any kind of uh, natural resources like a land like uh, some are very uh, rich in oil some are very rich in wood wish corn uh, iron etc so they have specialization in these products the next things we have is labor labor is a human input into the production process labor involves mental or physical effort no all labor is uh, of course of the same quality it's basically include uh, some physical and some uh, mental labor physical are those who uh, give their uh, physical help or assistant in the production making process while mental is something related to the planning and the strategy of the organization so of course there are some skilled or unskilled employees some workers are more productive than others because of because they have a, a very good education training and experience they have so labors not only a one thing labors include in both uh, mental and the physical so the next thing we have capital capital is an uh, man made resources that is used to produce further good and services for example buildings machine and the computer buildings are those things that can use uh, we can use it for another uh, new production making process machine again it is made by human that further uh, assist them to produce another things and like a computer it is uh, uh, generated and it is developed by a human that further help them to produce or to calculate uh, further production matters enterprise enterprise basically is a process of organizing the first three factors of production land labor and the capital uh, in the order to generate a new idea in the order to make a new plan in the order to make a new product enterprise involves basically taking a risk in setting up of or running a firm uh, why we are talking about uh, taking risk uh, why you are utilizing your factor of production like land labor and the capital you are utilizing them just for the sake to make a new product uh, and why we are mentioning that at uh, that this is uh, on a risk because uh, whatever you are making for your customers uh, you don't have idea might be possible this is not acceptable by your customer so what will happen ultimately you will be in a loss you may be in a loss so that's why we said organize the uh, the previous three factors in the order to make a new product but this product of course is on a risk stage an entrepreneur decides on the combination of the factors of production necessary to produce goods and services with the aim of generating the profit of course enterprise is uh, land 
labor and the capital and enterprise is those things uh, which you combine the factor of production in the order to making a new uh, pro product just for the sake of earn profit we have some kind of uh, rewards against the uh, against these factor of production let's discuss about the uh, rewards rewards uh, of the factor production in a market economic system the factors of production are privately owned by household or the factories uh, so the terms remember one thing the market and the free market are used interchangeably so market uh, they make these resources available to firm who use them to produce goods and services and from uh, from purchase uh, land labor capital from the household in the factors uh, markets so this is some kind of a benefits for the firms that firms own uh, such factors of production from the household and what household in uh, return will get they will get uh, for example if they uh, giving their land they will get some kind of a rent uh, and if uh, there are some kind of a laborers uh, who are giving their time their skills to the factory to the firm they will get some kind of a wages in return and if you have a some kind of a capital if you are investing something in any firm or in any kind of a project you will uh, in the end get some kind of a interest on your capital and the factor of uh, entrepreneurship as we already discussed when we combine the first three factors of production uh, just to make a new product and the reason of the making new product is to get more and more uh, profit so this is all about uh, the factors of production and their rewards